Hi there, run Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It is currently uh, the 14th of June 2012 and lots to talk about today, so let's dive right into it. First, we are talking about uh, this rainy season front over much of southeastern China, extending out towards southern Taiwan and off here towards the northeast into eastern Japan. This big along the line that I'm drawing here is what we're talking about here off towards the north. You have that high pressure over uh, China, high pressure down here in the west pack. The interaction between these two and assisted by the southwest monsoon is bringing a copious amount of rainfall uh, there over southeastern China and Taiwan. I know we've been talking about it the last several days, but the situation is just getting worse and worse here. Actually, into the next 24 hours, an additional 100 millimeters could fall there in southwestern Taiwan and also over towards southeastern China. If we look at the official forecast from CMA here, you can see these areas of the dark purples down here towards the south. Now, this is indicating up to about 100 to 250 millimeters to the east and also to the west of Hong Kong here and actually in Hong Kong right in the middle that area has been issued a flood warning throughout the day today so this whole rainy season boundary that's continuing to linger here well it doesn't look like it's going to be letting up in the near future and just to put another nail in the coffin and another hard blow is our tropical system coming in from the south that is tropical storm Gucho, it's moving off here towards the northwest. Winds right now at about 40 knots right in the center of circulation. That's from the Japan Meteorological Agency. Uh, JTWC has upgraded this to about 45 knots at sustained winds. Actually, this tiny little island right in here, you see that? Well, about 6,000 residents live on that. It is the island of Yap. There was tropical storm warnings issued earlier today. Now have been uh, canceled as the storm continues to push off here towards the west. West. And where is it going to be going next? Well, it is expected to continue to intensify actually to a typhoon by the latter part of the week. But this rainy front, well, um, that is going to be acting basically kind of as a wall. This storm will continue to track here towards the west. And once it hits that, I do expect a quick recurvature. Actually, that would be even a little bit farther towards the north. A quick recurvature here following that front. We've been talking about this the last several days. That front is going to be making the storm follow the path of quickest least resistance and as it continues to shoot off there towards the northeast it possibly will be continuing to intensify but going extra tropical at the same time so with that said uh, Taiwan you still could be seeing some outer rain bands from this and including all of the Philippines the southwest monsoon all that moisture flowing in from the south when this storm continues to push off here towards the northwest it's going to be enhancing that you can actually see moisture being pulled in out of the intertropical convergence zone here towards the south wrapping around that center of circulation and that's also an enhancing the storm making it that much stronger and that possibly could be happening over here in the Philippines into the coming days. And here's just a look at the 48 hour outlook from Coamps here, a high resolution model and you can see the storm deepening as it pushes off there towards the northwest. It only goes out to 48 hours though like I said at that time it will be moving north of plow but once again those outer rain bands coming in from the south being pulled from the intertropical convergence zone will be bringing some heavy rainfall there. But let's compare this up uh, with some of the other models across the region and all of them do show this consensus actually pushing off here towards the northwest north of plow and then eventually recurving off towards the north of missing the Philippines. So fantastic news here as far as the center of circulation, but bad news once again that southwest monsoon will be enhanced just like our last storm that pushed through here. And you did see all that heavy rainfall and actually deaths coming out of the Philippines. So this sadly might be a very, very similar situation. And same here in Taiwan, that rainy season front will also likely be enhanced here across southern Taiwan, thus bringing some heavy rainfall. But good news once again, that storm likely will recurve here and push off there towards the northwest. I actually see that Joint Typhoon Warning Center. They had, did have their track pushing off here towards the north, likely just to keep the uh, warnings ready there in Okinawa. There's plenty of naval bases there. So you always got to remember Joint Typhoon Warning Center right for the American military, not for the people actually living on the ground here. So with that said, they are starting to work their track a little bit towards the northeast here, but I do expect them to keep it uh, right around Okinawa. But in the meantime, though, JMA uh, likely is going to be starting their recurvature scenario, keeping that storm track also just southeast of Okinawa here as well.
And actually, here is the latest track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor here. Do you have the winds at 45 knots, gusting up to 55 knots, maxing out at 85, gusting to 105 knots here on the 17th before it begins to weaken going into the 18th with that recurvature. And as the storm begins to go extra tropical, but look at this, tropical storm strength winds, they do not expect them, at least in the five-day outlook, to affect any land masses here. But let's compare this up with the official agents. The Japan Meteorological Agency, that is, and once again, they're going to be uh, looking at a recurvature scenario here in the extended long range. I would expect them to actually start to have the storm churn here off towards the north and then eventually to the northeast following that front. But with that said, uh, Okinawa, you're not going to be out of the woods. I know that I'm saying it likely will go towards the southeast, but it's going to be wrapped up with the rainy season stationary front. So what that means, all that heavy rain will be pushing in here from the west, affecting the western coast of mountains here in uh, Taiwan. Plenty of mountains here actually enhancing the uplift of this rainfall. Thus, 1,500 millimeters has been recorded here in just the past week, even over towards the southern Japanese islands. That moisture will continue to pull out of the East China Sea with that storm running along here, creating lots of, words, uh, lots of upward vertical motion. Thus, you're going to be seeing an increase of rainfall here. So definitely going to be continuing to post it here, but this is the official track. My thoughts, I do think a recurvature scenario here pushing off here towards the north, just southeast of Okinawa is going to be very likely. But regardless, for those of you there in uh, the eastern portions of Luzon, also over towards Taiwan, and also the southern Japanese islands, you're going to be wanting to watch this very, very closely and always be prepared for potential tropical systems out here in the western Pacific. But lastly, I'm going to be leaving you here with this microwave imagery. Actually, you can see an eye wall trying to form up in the system. So it just shows that the storm is continuing uh, to intensify, even with the app there, just in the last several frames off there towards the southwest. But that is all for rain. Now, everybody, thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. You can also click uh, the like button below and subscribe to our channel. And if you do enjoy this, if you're watching this here on YouTube, and please visit the website at westernpacificweather.com. And also, soon we're going to be announcing our, or uh, officially announcing at least, our uh, joint effort with Storm. 2k so please go there as well link will be in the comment or in the description box below uh, for that website as well thanks again for watching everybody please stay safe out there have a great day